students welcome back to online classes science class class 6 i am christopher in the previous class we have discussed the materials and objects made up of only one material and objects made up of more than one material activity 1 and 2 are completed in this class today let us discuss which material is suitable for making a particular object for example if you want to make a chair we are using either metal or plastic or wood so that means different materials we are using to make a particular object so now on which basis we can decide this material is suitable for preparing a particular object so that are depend on their properties so we need to know the properties of material to decide which material is suitable for which object so we need to know the properties of material for example some materials are hard some materials are soft some materials are hard we can decide for making uh, different objects like which carry loads heavy loads so for that we need this hard substances hard materials and some are soft okay at the same time some materials are shiny shine and some are non shiny so like that different properties are there so in this class let us discuss different properties of material class 6 science properties of materials the first one state of the material so let us see state of the material in the chapter in the chapter water already we have learned that different states of water so water exist in three states what is that ice that is solid state and water that is a liquid state and water vapor that is gas state so this is solid state and this is a liquid state and this is gas state so water exist in a three states that is solid liquid and gases that means water can change its state from one state to another state solid to liquid water can change liquid to water vapor that means gases can change again gases to liquid also water can change and again liquid to solid also water can change how it is possible so on which factors we know that if you keep some water in a bottle if you keep in the fridge what happens if you keep in the deep fridge it becomes solid that means water is changing into solid ice okay so for example if you take some water in a bowl so if you take some ice not water take some ice and keep in a bowl and wait for some time what do you observe you will observe that after some time this total ice cubes becomes water 
so we will observe all the ice cubes melt and we will observe water in this bowl no ice cubes okay appear if you heat this water if you keep on a stove and if you heat so what happens so if you keep on heating so what happens this water changes slowly into water vapor slowly water changes its state to the gas state okay so like that here we are giving temperature that means heat we are giving means temperature we are increasing that means by increasing temperature we can change the state of the material okay and by decreasing temperature we can change the state of the material by increasing temperature ice changes into liquid liquid water and liquid water changes into water vapor gaseous water by increasing temperature so by decreasing temperature this water vapor changes into liquid water and if you again decrease temperature this water also changes to solid state so temperature decides here whether the material can be in the solid state liquid state and gas state we sort materials as a solids liquids and gases depending on availability of the normal temperature at the normal temperature whether the material is available as a solid or liquid or gases at the normal temperature that means room temperature so in the room temperature the particular material is exist as a solid that means it is a solid okay if it is exist as a liquid it's a liquid like that gases we can sort out we can categorize the material into three that is solids liquids and gases now we have an activity we know that a candle candle generally exist in wax exist in solid state do you know candle exist in the liquid state and vapor state but generally we cannot see at the room temperature by heating you can observe the liquid state and gas state of the wax so let us observe this activity for understanding the liquid state and the gaseous state of the candle so everybody knows that how to light the candle by using matchstick so by using matchstick you can lit the candle but do you know that without touching the wick of the candle we can lit the candle so wick there is a wick that wick without touching you can lit the candle what is wick wick is nothing but inside the candle there is a thread that a thread first when you light the candle it will burn and remains as a wick that a thread is called wick so for observing the gaseous state of the wax we have to observe this activity so without touching the wick of the candle you can lit the candle so how it is let us see observe this activity carefully place a candle in a safe place and light it the first time the candle cannot be lit without touching the wick with the burning matchstick so do just that the first time let the candle burn for some time after about 2 minutes hold your burning matchstick or another candle in one hand and blow the candle out what did you notice did you see a column of white smoke rising from the wick as soon as you extinguish the flame 
Now quickly bring the burning candle close to the smoke. But do not touch the wick with it. What happens? Did the candle catch the fire from a distance? Yes. Discuss with your friends how and why candle got lit from a distance. Does the white smoke represent candle wax in the state of gas? Yes. Next one. How can you know different states of material? How can you know different states of material? How to decide different states of material? Let us see. For example, if you take some material, keep in certain containers, observe their shape, whether they change or not. So, for example, for example, if you keep some onions in a container, whether they change their shape? No, they will not change their shape. Some materials, if you keep in a certain containers, they will get the shape of the container, like milk, water, kerosene, petrol, etc. These are all, when you keep in a, a particular container, they will get the shape of that container. So, those are called liquids. That means, material which get the shape of the containers, they are liquids. And materials which do not get the shape of the container, that means, their shape remains the same. They are called solids. So, from this, you can understand that solids have fixed shape. Fixed shape. Liquids do not have fixed shape. Okay, no fixed shape. So, what about the shape of the liquids? They, gain, they get the shape of the container. Okay, so what are the examples for solids here? You can say rock, wood, okay, and plastic chair, etc. And what are the examples for liquids? You can write milk, water. Kerosene, etc. These are all examples for liquids. So, you have activity 4, table 4 is there. So, in that, you can think of some solids, some liquids, some gases. So, just their names, you write in the table 4. Some solids names. Here, three columns is given. Three columns, you have to fill with a pencil. Now, while doing this experiment, some materials get the shape of the container. They are called liquids. By observing this, while doing this activity, whether the given materials, solids or liquids, doing this activity from one group of the student in sixth class, he got a sweet dilemma. While doing, there is a sugar or salt and he replaced into the container and he observed that salt gained the shape of the container. Sugar gained the shape of the container. Now he got a doubt whether sugar and salt are solids or liquids. What do you say? If you have the same doubt, Observe this activity and clear your doubt. So, let us observe this activity. This is salt. And we have one container. So, if you observe this, if you observe the shape of the container, it's a good shape. Okay. So, now we are replacing the salt into this container. So when you replace this container, 
what is the shape of the salt let us observe okay so i will replace the salt into this container So like this while measuring one of the student from sixth class he got one doubt so now salt get the shape of the container so now if you observe the salt inside the container so salt get the shape of the container so now whether salt is a solid or liquid now this is the question it's a sweet dilemma so what do you say whether salt is a solid or liquid because liquids get the shape of the container solids do not get the shape of the container so now salt gets the shape of the container so whether salt is a solid or liquid for this if you observe carefully let us replace again then i will explain you so replace all the salt into this plate okay now take the empty container so in this also we have to remove all the salt now there is no salt in this container now this is a empty container so from this salt let us take one the small crystal of the salt okay so observe this is the small crystal of the salt now place this crystal in this container and close the lid close the lid okay now observe what is the shape of the salt crystal so the shape of the crystal is remains same it doesn't change okay so remove again observe what is the shape of the crystal okay if you observe the shape of the crystal remains same so salt is a solid solids has a fixed shape okay solids has a fixed shape thank you students thank you we will meet again in the next class until then keep watching our videos if you do not subscribe subscribe and tap the bell button thank you